How you going? Welcome back to Valheim. My name is Brendan and today we're going to be building a blacksmith. But not just any blacksmith. It's going to be the prettiest it's going to be the most indestructible, completely untouchable blacksmith that you can make. Now, last time we built this lovely keep or castle, whatever you want to call it. And built this very nice farm. And the benefit of it all is that it can't be touched. It doesn't matter what I get raided by. Nothing can touch my buildings it's completely indestructible so the next thing i need to build because we're in the planes and i want to get planes gear is a blacksmith and i want to do it right here so that you know i can it, it, it's it's in a place that kind of fits because over there is going to be a dock which i'm going to do after the blacksmith so first things first i'm going to kill those deskados because you know mosquitoes are and all and then I'll bust a hole in this wall, level out a bit of a section there, and then measure out how far. Because I think it's like six or eight meters between the two. Because I like to measure it perfectly because OCD is a vibe. I'm gonna do that. Oh, that's one. Can I get it first shot? Oh, that's too high. Ooh. Second shot. Second charm. Second time's a charm. All right, cool. That's oh, a long jump. I should be fine. Didn't even jump. I really hope these loxes don't. I guarantee you... I'm going to die to one of these loxes at some point in this recording. I don't know how I know. I just know. First things first, just measuring, sorry, leveling all this out so I can measure the gap and then I know where to dig as well as build the outline. And that makes it easier but this is going to be pretty big like it'll be a big it'll be bigger than the farm itself because i'm going to have multiple sections to it oh god those locks are close i'm gonna have multiple sections to it because there's a workshop forge a smelting area um am i forgetting something i don't know a storage section for now because i don't have a, a another you know, construction area, so that'll do. All right. All right, so it's a four meter gap between the two. So one, two, three, and four. There we go. That's where the tower will be. Nice. Easy enough. Oh. Alright. So we know where the tower for that's going to be. So I'll just build the outline for this section up here. Trim that dam up to it. And then... I don't know what I'm going to do with the locks. And then I'll build the outline of the actual, you know, structure where it will be. And then dig around that. And then... Level, raise, level again, or maybe just raise level. I don't know. You know what I mean. You know what I, mean. I don't need to explain it to you. You guys know what I'm doing. And if you don't, don't worry. I don't know what I'm doing either. All right, so I've put down the outline around this side, but... I really don't want to go. I'm going to get killed. I'm going to start over here. 
<laughs> I don't want to die. I'm going to die, but I don't want to die. Alright. I'll just start on this side for now and just hope they don't... You know. Decide that they want to kill me. Alright, so... One, two... Oh, turns out a mace is good for clearing bushes. Oops. So wary of these lockers. All right, that's another side done. As you can see, it's it's yeah, it's gonna be big. But bigger is better. Yeah, there's no avoiding it now. I have to go home. I want to die. I don't know how to do this. They're going to kill me. Can I tame them and then they won't? <laughs> All right, I think taming is probably going to take a bit too long. Maybe if I like run over there and shoot them, they'll run over there and then stay over there. I'm going to get myself killed, but yeah, it's worth a shot. All right, this is either going to work really well or be completely catastrophic. So, I mean, I'm here for actually I'm going to jump on the rock. Now, I have a feeling I'm just going to die here, but you know, if I do, you guys need to subscribe. Oh, I hit him. And he doesn't seem to care. That one cares. Oh, I missed. There you go. Come here. What the hell? Died there. All right. Did you? Tr Whoa! Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. That is an ideal. Oh. Where's the other one? Hey, chill, man. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wolf me. What the hell happened here? Oh, I'm... Ow. Guys, can we talk about this? Can we talk about this? Can we talk about That's a subscribe. All right. So after you peacefully uh, relocate the loxes, you can go back about your day. There was nothing violent or, you know, detrimental about the relocation just you know, they just moved on i definitely didn't die yeah i definitely uh, overestimated this size i see i'm saying so much stuff that can be clipped up out of context but uh yeah i, I mean I, i've done the uh ring wall at least so now i know where i need to dig which is the really long part. So I'm going to go and dig around the perimeter. And then I'll raise the ground to the right height. And then re-put down where this external wall is. And then I'll check back in with you guys. Because I'm going to go insane doing it. Because it'll take me like three hours. Or longer probably. So I'll see you in a... Well, for you guys to see quick. But I'll see you in a bit. So... Wish me luck. Well, 
Oh, that took a long time. The one part that actually like sucks with this is the the clearing out of all the dirt and the ground and all that kind of stuff. And then just the raising up. I mean, they're even, even the raising isn't even actually that bad. I've done it so many times that I've kind of like found a little like I've managed to figure out like a little trick to make it a bit more effective, but it's just it's the mining all around because I have to jiggle around in the water because it's so deep. Ugh. All right. So I need to raise all the ground here to this height here so that I can then build a bridge across. So I'm now going to get started on that because that's going to take me a while as well. I sound like I'm complaining. I'm like, I'm, I'm not really because it's like, this is, this is like, it's a cool, it's a really cool build. Like nothing can get to me here, but it is, it is definitely a lot of work. It does definitely help when you prepare in advance and get like a lot of stone and stuff like that in advance. But it does actually help a lot if you pre grind a lot of the resources that you'll need. Otherwise, it will take you ages. I also see a lot of people comment being like, oh, I should build a gray dwarf trap. I should. I just haven't got around to it. Um, but I should. I, it's a little bit of cheesing it a little bit and I, like try to avoid cheesing the uh, the game. But considering how many builds I do, it would make life a lot easier. Anyway, I'm going to get this all done. And I should hopefully have it all finished reasonably quick so that we can get started on the build. Hopefully, I don't know. I don't think anything can get me. I'm pretty sure nothing can get me. So I should be good if like a raid does happen. And the locks just haven't come back as well. I don't know actually where they went because I don't see them anymore, but it's always a plus side. All right, I'm going to grab some more stone and then keep, oh, oh, keep going. It's going to look good when that's done and then the dock is done. You can actually park a boat in and stuff like that. It's going to look so cool. Now, if you also think that this is cool and you yourself have some pretty cool builds, come join the Discord. Links in the description below. There's already a bunch of people in there. We're all sharing, you know, build picks and all that kind of stuff, getting inspiration from one another about, you know, how to do builds and stuff like that. So join, come hang out. Show me what you're doing. Oh, we're done. Guys, when I tell you, we're not done, like the build. Sorry, right, I'm going a little loopy. When I tell you it is taking me five hours to do this, I'm not exaggerating. It has literally taken me five hours. Look at this. You see what I've done here? You see this? This is madness. Looks cool though. It's, uh, like it, it's, oh, you know what? Let's check it out from the roof. Jesus, it's it's pretty much the max height in some spots because over there I can't actually get it up to the same height, but it's massive. It's I'm pretty sure double the size of oh, double the width of this, but it's the same. It's the same length. It's huge. And then the dock will slot in right there. It's, oh, it's going to look so good. It looks so, I mean, this 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 will seriously be probably the coolest build I've done. Um, but yeah, as I said, it's taken me five hours to do this so far. And that's with all the resources already collected. Real tedious. Um, but it's like, this is the fun part. This is like what I enjoy this part here, which is the actual build itself. Making like a way to make this easier is just like put on a TV show or like a movie or something like that. Like I'm watching evil on Amazon prime, which is like, oof. like if you're like don't mind uh you know like paranormal scary tv shows fun fact i actually was on tv for a paranormal show um but yeah if you like those kinds of things the evil is a good show amazon prime now what i need to do now same as what i've done with the other uh other ones is raise up the walls put in the spots where the gates are put in the palisades do like the uh dark wood trim put in oh, i'll pick a banner 
I don't know which banner, but I'll pick a banner, put a banner in, and then I'll actually start filling in the middle and doing like a design for the inside. So the inside is what will be, you know, the more fun, interesting part. So I'm just going to speed run building the wall. I mean, if you want to really want to watch me build a wall, I'd recommend just watching the keep video. It's not really that exciting. It's pretty straightforward. I'm just going to speed run that and then we'll get into the actual fun component. So yeah, but it's taking, you know, taking a while. Honestly, not even worried about it. Bow smell from the swamp. Not even bothered. Let's poke our head out and say hi. <laughs> uh, enjoy. Anyway. I've finished the wall uh, and what I'm doing, I'm just putting down the stone platforms where everything's going to go. So I'll have, you know, a workshop here, a forge over there. Uh, I'll have a smelting area and then, I don't know, I guess a storage zone for all the ores and stuff like that and coal. And I know I have a storage zone as well because I've only got two crafting things. I don't know if there's more. I assume there is when you get to later biomes, but... For now, it's just going to have the two with the other. Yeah, so here we go. So I'll get all these finished and then we'll start the fun design, you know, design component of it. But it's looking good. It's looking really cool. It's massive. We're going a little crazy, but we're doing all right. Oh, hey, Michael Phelps is back. Ah, oh, you can keep doing laps. I've finished the platforms. I'm just uh, paving it all just so it looks nice. It's coming along good though. Definitely built this like way too big. But on the plus side, it's gonna be like look pretty sweet. All right, done. So we've got our paths everywhere, platforms sorted. It's looking pretty spartan, pretty bare. So I'm going to do some trim and make it all a little bit nicer. So I'll show you how you can kind of elevate your builds and make it a bit, you know, your builds just look a little bit nicer and it's super simple. Uh, but I'll just cut straight between the two. But realistically, all I'm going to be using is just these darkwood beams and just dropping them everywhere. So I'll do like a cut straight to it so you can kind of see instantly what it looks like, like how like how big of a difference it is. So I'll jump over to it. Do this. As you can see, makes a massive difference. Just simple dark wood trim everywhere. It It, it, it just changes the look of everything. Makes it look so much better, adds depth and detail. And it's super simple, super easy. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be good. It'll be good. It's coming along nice. I've done the outside. I've already finished everything, finished all the details for it. Uh, all that's left to do is the inside. However, for me, it's very nearly 6 a.m. in the morning. So I'm going to get some sleep and I'm going to finish this in the morning. Not really going to take me that long, but I'm going to finish it in the morning. It's going to look awesome. This might be like one of the craziest ones I've done so far. I want to check it out from the uh, platform over here, actually. Wow. <laughs> this is looking crazy. Yeah, this is nuts. This is nuts. I'm serious. If you guys have done a better build than this or like a really cool build like this, you got to join the Discord. Share that with me. I want to say that because this is this is crazy. This is as uh, this 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 has got to be the most like ambitious, craziest build anyone's done. 
It's nuts. I could literally sail a boat in here if I want. Crazy. All right, cool. Anyway, I'm going to jump ahead. It'll be tomorrow when I pick this up again. There'll be light behind me through my windows. So, yeah, but we'll finish this tomorrow. So I'll see you. Well, I'll see you in a, a while, but you'll see me in literally two seconds. So, yeah. Oh. Actually, I don't want to kill Michael Phelps. I'll let him keep swimming. I'll go the long way. Anyway, uh, good night and I'll catch you in the morning. Okay, we are back. It is the next day. And I need to finish this blacksmith. I mean, it's, 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 pretty, it's pretty well close. I just need a roof off the specific sections and then put in where like the smeltery and all that kind of stuff is going to be. I heard Michael Phelps laugh. Where's he at? Oh, there he is. Oh, that's rude. But Michael Phelps is swimming. Can you not? All right, anyway. So what I am going to do is I'm going to roof off three of the sections that one that one and this one here and then this will be the smeltery so what i'm thinking i might do for it is put up some nice big poles oh i'm out of wood all right i need to put up these All right, now I can extend the poles out. That's an ideal. There you go. And that'll be the frame for the roof. So I'll do this one first, kind of show you what it is that I'm thinking. And then I'll just hooky cut, hooky cutter it on the others. Cool. And then... Now I just need to fill it in. And then I can tell how much room I have to work with at that point. Yeah, the downside of having the stairs here is that it makes the roof a little bit more complicated. Only a little bit. Oh, I just picked up stone. I think that looks fine. I kind of like these being open as well. Looks neat. Because the other alternative is putting in crosses. But I'd rather leave them open if I can. So we'll see. All right. So now, is, I mean, I can just keep going like that. But I'd rather actually add like a steeper segment to it. But I want to add a little bit of a different flair to it. So a little different from how 
I normally do roofs. Make it a little bit more, you know, artsy. I don't know, I'm feeling inspired. So. Alright, now, just need to fill that in. Question is, do I want to do it steep or do I want to do it like... Steep could look cool. Hope that holds. I mean, it's holding, but I hope it doesn't pop on me randomly. All right, well, we'll carry on. I'll do the other two, but that's basically how I'm like, how it's going to look. And the reason being is I can now add fire and the smoke should all you know filter out everywhere because I want to do that for all three of them I'm just hoping that roof holds oh well, I guess we'll see all right but that's basically how it's going to look and then I can start fitting everything out so I'll do the same for these two then we'll start fitting them out. All right. I have now finished. The roof hasn't broken as well, which is a bonus, but I finished the other two. So let me show you what I've done. So as you can see, we now have three identical platforms. Oh, not identical, actually. Okay, we now have three identical platforms. So, yeah, they're the same across the board. So what I'll probably do first is the forge area. So like charcoal kiln, smeltery, all that kind of stuff. I'll do that over here. I just need to figure out where I want to place everything, but I'll... Hmm. Because what is it that I can have? Okay, so I'll put down, yeah, a smelter, uh, probably two charcoal kilns, and then one blast furnace. And then I go on there. Oh, I don't know. I'll, fig I'll figure out where I'm going to place everything because it's be a bit of a squeeze, I think. Yeah. All right, I'll figure out where I want to place everything. All right, I changed my mind. I'm just going to do one charcoal kiln, but just let it cook in all the time. Even when I'm not here, I'm doing something else. And instead I opted for a windmill, which I think probably makes more sense given like, you know, cooking and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah, I think this makes more sense because I can do a windmill there. I'm going to use this as like a big storage area. But I can also turn it into a little bit of like a cooking station as well. So, yeah, that makes more sense. I like this more. Pull that out. There we go. That is now the. What do we want to call it? Processing area? Yeah, we'll call it the process area. Processing area is sorted. Cool. Blast furnace, smelter, kiln, windmill. All right, on to the next one. Let's do probably the forge. Yeah, we'll do the forge. The forge is going to go over here. So I'll do the forge next.
All right, I kind of got a little bit carried away with it, but I wanted to add just like a little bit more. I don't know, it felt just a little bit too open, these sections. So I added these uh, dark wood dividers. I think it looks cool. Could do like one extra and put that there. Nah, I won't. All right, I'm going to leave it like that because I think that's that's enough. I like it. It looks good. It looks cool. This like workshop blacksmith kind of thing is just, yeah, it's. This is wild. This, this might be. I'd probably say the most intricate thing that I've built. I mean, this whole thing is very intricate, but this blacksmith area is, is probably the most intricate thing that I've built. This whole, you know, planes base is, oh, I really like it. It's cool. I'm looking forward to doing the dock. What the hell died over there? I see black metal. Goblin probably fought something. Uh, I'm looking forward to do the dock. Gonna be like a bit of a different weird design. It'd be cool. It's kind of like, I'm kind of gonna try and draw inspiration from like the Lord of the Rings movie, like Grey Havens, but you'll have to see that next episode. But anyway, I need to get back to doing the forge. I'll do the forwards, I'll do the workshop, and then I'll set up the cooking station. So this is this episode's already gonna be a long one, so I'm just gonna do those and then I'll show it off to you guys. Alright, I am done. I think, I think I'm done. Let me show you what I've done. So come through. This is the processing section. So we got a smelter, blast furnace, windmill, kiln. Now we can run all the way, all the way along all the walls as well. There's also gates at each section, just in case I ever need to make a getaway. Good locks. Come in here. Cooking. And storage. So bunch of chests everywhere. Got a little stone oven. We can cook loads of stuff here. Yeah, we're cooking. Come over here. Workbench. All the upgrades that I need. I think that's all of them. I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, and artisan table and spinning wheel. Come over here. Forge. And all these upgrades as well. Wolf pelt, lox pelt, and uh, red jute. I'm kind of contemplating, like, you know, putting up banners outside each one but i think that might be a bit like might just be a bit much doing that so i'll probably just leave it bare for now but yeah it looks good i like it this is definitely the most complex build i've done so far just because of how intricate it is and you know the effort that that's been put into it but it looks good i, I really like this actually i'm loving the new roof as well like these, uh, these new roof sections are really good. Yeah, it looks sick. I really like it. Yeah, I don't know. I like it. You guys might not like it. But, I don't know. Let me know what you think. But I think it's cool. All that's left to do now is build a dock. So that I can safely store my boat rather than having to leave it back at the other island. Just teleport back and forth. So, that's all I need now. Little boat section dock area which is going to go right there which i'm going to literally start straight away and then i can start taking on the planes properly so there's a, a lot of uh goblin villages around that i can raid so i'm going to be able to upgrade to the new armor and new weaponry and then upgrade max pretty quick just because i've done all this foundation like like lay out the groundwork all that kind of stuff so yeah i'm going to end the video here uh but it's been awesome it's been a cool build it's been really really cool um yeah it's been awesome i'm really happy with it i'm just gonna check it out from over there i want to check it out what it looks like from like the two points yeah it looks cool you can't really tell you know too much what it is from the outside but yeah, it's pretty cool. This is literally an un like nothing. Nothing can attack my base. Like this base is completely indestructible. Nothing can damage or attack it. Like I'm completely invulnerable. All right, I'm gonna check it out from the roof. 
Can I make it to the water? Ow. No, I can't. Yeah, that's cool. That looks sick. Yeah, really happy with that. Literally anything I need is, 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 is right here. Other than the dock, like everything that I need is right here. And the dock actually will be a lot easier to build because it's not going to be all like this intricate stuff. It's going to be open on one side as well. Like it'll be, it'll be cool. It's going to be really cool. It's just coming, like everything here is coming along really nice. I've pretty much got everything that I need. I could, I mean, realistically, if I really wanted to, I could relocate bases here. I won't because I, I like the actual island, but yeah, this is cool. Anyway, I'm going to call it there. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, you haven't already, make sure you hit subscribe. You know, hit the thumbs up button. Helps with the algorithm gods. All that kind of stuff. Drop a comment if you want. But join the Discord. Come hang out. I want to see some of the screenshots that you guys have of your builds. You know, maybe I get some inspiration. But at the very least, just hang out. We already have a couple of people in there. And we're all sharing, you know, screenshots and, and, and all that kind of stuff. You might get a sneak peek in some of the videos that I'm doing as well. So, yeah, come hang out. If you don't want to, all good. But, you know, you're more than welcome. The link for that is in the description below. Anyway, if you're still watching, thank you very much. Appreciate you. And I will catch you in the next one. See you later.